Eva, um, the incorrigible planner, had a hand in, in planning this today. In, um, in her own words, she wrote that she wanted a Balinese memorial because of my deep appreciation for the balance achieved by a culture which sustains its environment, community, and culture. Sharing the water of an island through thousands of interconnected rice terraces and cooperative consensus. Making time for communal talk and beautiful ceremonies. Having openness to share their culture with people like us. Knowing the flow of life in the music that shimmers with overlapping tones and sending ashes back again into the flow. So we're going to celebrate um, Eva on this beautiful beach and this um, beautiful place that she loved. And um, we'd like to start with a, a song. There is more peace somewhere I'm gonna keep on till I find it There is more peace somewhere There is more joy somewhere There is more joy somewhere I'm gonna keep on till I find it there is more joy somewhere. She lived life so large and she gave so generously there and an inspiration. No she was always there for me when I needed to be protected. There my sister was there. She was my wise person in my life. Eva was there to inspire us always. I'm going to plant an apple tree in my yard. Eva and I can talk. Eva was always a shining star. She was the most brilliant of all of our kids. I have to tell you guys that, but it's true. I'm very proud of this girl. She saw possibilities of her potential in everybody that we couldn't imagine. Try to keep up with that, that drive she had for making her a better place. We, we love Eva, and she calls my mother mum, and this is her other family. She inspires me and everyone else to be as, uh, be the best that we can be. It was so exciting to, to see her Eva at work. So creative, so deeply thankful that I have known such a creative person. She had this incredible passion, and she really cared, and it showed in everything she did. She worked so hard to bring us together as a group. I'm really going to miss Eva. She did so much for, her, for me and our family. And she certainly raised the standard for the core at our community meetings from then on. She lived her life so full. She was the wonderful, wonderful lady and with the beautiful, beautiful blue eyes, and she'll always be in my heart. So she, she was a very outspoken and articulate uh, advocate for transit, transit land use, dedicated to the pursuit of her vision. What a full life she's had, I'll miss her. My partner Ellen and I are doing a lot of education around ovarian cancer, and we will dedicate our work to Eva. We're still learning from her, and hopefully we'll continue to do that, even though it's difficult. The Bansners, for me, Eva and Kai and Leaf and Horse, represent um, everything that I believe in. And I'm deeply grateful and honored to be a part of that in this community. She was smart and active enough, in my estimation, to um, figure out our various nefarious affairs. So she's always been formidable. I think it's obvious she was an awesome person. I felt so welcomed into this family. I experienced of Eva was beauty and uh, openness and love and simplicity. Obviously, she touched a lot of people's hearts. I don't think Eva's decamped. I I hear everybody talk about her, 
and I see everybody here, and I know how much she's touched everyone and myself. I was so impressed by their vision uh, of living collectively. I felt pulled in, even in, in a small way, and um, I'm so inspired by her. She was so active in trying to make Berkeley a better place. She was just such a vigorous fighter, uh, incredible fighter for liberty, for justice, and for a better environment. The one thing I really loved Eva for was making me feel part of the family right from the beginning. And she taught me a lot of ceremony and celebration. She's always been a wonderful daughter. And she's been so creative. And she's had so much ability. And it was wonderful to live around that. Eva was uh, always had a flair for word. Her mind was so sharp. She also put her energy behind the people, towards the people that she cared about. And I always think of Eva now like Santa Lucia, who brought life and hope and beauty to all of us. She showed me how death could be, and I, I think it went very, very well. And I'm, I'm very thankful to her for the last lessons. She could build a dynamite birthday cake.